guys, welcome back to Shape Up for Summer. This week I thought I would do something totally different and do a recipe video with you guys. I know my channel has just turned into food and baking and I don't know, grocery hauls. I don't even know how or why that happened, but that's just how my life is right now. So I'm just gonna roll with it. I got a lot of requests to share some healthy recipes with you. And I'm sorry that Amelia couldn't join me today, but sometimes she's just not in the mood to film. These are chewy, seedy, oat and sultana bars. You can make them with raisins, you can make them with sultanas, dried apricots, dates, whatever you like. But they're perfect for snacking on the go. They're healthy, they've got lots of seeds and nuts and things in them that you wouldn't probably normally eat. I love that you can make them from scratch and you know exactly what ingredients are going in rather than you know feeding yourself or your kids something that is shop bought and you don't really know about the additives and the sugars and all that kind of stuff. So they're healthy for your kids, they're healthy for you and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So if you wanna see how to bake these, then just keep watching. You will need 300 grams of parge oats, 100 grams of mixed pumpkin and sunflower seeds. You can do either or or mix them together. 50 grams of desiccated coconut, 50 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of golden syrup, 150 grams of soft brown sugar, 150 grams of sultanas or raisins or dried apricots, whichever you prefer, 125 grams of crunchy peanut butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. First thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 325 Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna take a baking tray or a casserole dish. A baking tray would really be better, but I don't have one, so I'm using my casserole dish. And I'm gonna line that with some non-stick baking paper. And you wanna leave a little bit hanging out from the edges so that you can remove it easily when it's done. In a large bowl, we're gonna mix the oats and the seeds, the desiccated coconut, and the flour. And I'm just gonna mix all of these dry ingredients up together. Now in a saucepan, I'm going to melt the butter with the golden syrup. To that, we're going to add in the sugar, the sultanas, the peanut butter, and finally the vanilla extract. And we're gonna mix that all together until the peanut butter has kind of melted in and it's all nice and soft. And now we're going to pour that into the bowl of dry ingredients and we're gonna mix this up until it's all well combined. And this smells amazing. The peanut butter with the vanilla. Now we're going to transfer the mixture into the prepared baking tray, or in my case, casserole dish. I'm just gonna press that into the tin or the casserole dish so that it's all kind of packed down. And now we're gonna bake that in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So because we couldn't have Amelia with us today for the taste test, I brought somebody else along instead. <laughs> this is Jonathan, my husband, in case you didn't know. And he's gonna taste them, because he was sniffing them the whole time, and they smell really good. I'm gonna taste one, too. So, basically, after you take them out of the oven, all you have to do is leave them in here to cool, and then take one of these knives, you know, the rounded ones? I don't know the correct term for it, but the rounded ones. Butter knives. <laughs> it's a butter and around me. And it makes 18 squares. Each square has about 335 calories. I did the math, so I worked it all out for you guys in case you're wondering. You can freeze them if you want. They also, these ones will keep for about a week if you store them in an airtight container. Unless they taste too good. And then they'll last about five minutes. Alright, how many? Well, so we'll start off with one, then we'll turn the camera off, and then we'll eat the rest of them. Okay. Hold on, wait for me. Oh. Ready? Two. What? Wait, wait, wait! Let's go. Oh, oh, wait! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like that. Mm hmm. I like that a lot. I like about it. Yeah. When you taste the peanut butter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're so chewy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. 
Excuse me. It's part of my life. No, no, because then that one's gonna get. Okay. So thanks so much for watching this video and check out pictures and the full list of ingredients if you missed it on my blog, anasaconi.com. Link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching again and we will talk to you in our next one. Bye. Taking a slice. I am taking a slice. And then this over here.